Kentucky. Hope you guys are doing okay today. I think it's hump day. Is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday. So guys, we are gonna do, I'm gonna call it the mother camper uh, for our little vintage uh, camper here. We did the mini me yesterday. Turned out super cute. So let's see if we can um, create uh, the, the mama, the, the mother camper. So this is our little uh, vintage happy camper um, design here. Make sure you can see it all. And um, it has so many pieces to it, guys. Um, they're just fun and to play with. And if you love camping, you're, this is just, I think, a no-brainer. Like, it's a must-have. So, let's get busy. And I'm going to do more of the pink with it. Um, so, it can kind of color coordinate, but still be a little different. Um, but guys, we have over like 30 colors. And so you can pick and choose. You can match, you know, your camper that you already have. One that you're dreaming about. Like if you've been dreaming about a vintage camper, this is great to get. Uh, so you can, you know, kind of make it part of your vision board. So let's get this on here. And it's barely going to fit, guys. And this is just a Dollar Tree um, deal that I repurposed. So I painted, I turned it over, painted it black, and then I put just some scrapbook paper on the back of it to make it a little prettier. Um, but obviously you don't have to do that. Like if you just, you know, you're not, no one's ever going to see the back of it. I wouldn't waste my time putting anything on the front of it. And it's going to go off just a little bit. So I'm going to, it's a tight fit. This thing is, is pretty big actually. So it's probably, um, I'm gonna get it just barely on here. And I might actually have to take off this little light here. Just barely. So a little bit of it's going off, but that's okay. We'll make it work. And then um, get this going. So how is your Wednesday going? Do you see some, uh, you guys can, hopefully you guys can see that um, what's going on with me, uh, but hopefully you're getting, um, some relief and sight for your, uh, Wednesday headed into the weekend. And guys, coming up, we, I'm going to be doing another, um, I think another, like, live craft top with a bunch of ladies, kind of like we all, we all get on and can, um, to support each other's businesses and all that good stuff and showcase what we love to do so let me get down here and let's just get started so i think i'm thinking that it's straight it might actually be a little up or whatever but that's gonna be okay it's not always perfect with me <laughs> When you are crafting with me, there are probably going to be a few mistakes. And one of them is probably going to be the fact that it's not perfectly straight. <laughs> Who else is like that? I'm just kind of go as a, go as I please and uh, hopefully it turns out right. And if you were working on one of our chalkboards, obviously it would be easier, guys, to um, fix up and, um, you know, fix your mistakes because you could just wipe it off and go again. When you're working on these types of surfaces, it's a little harder. It's a little more permanent, I guess you could say. Um, so you kind of want to keep that in mind. But guys, I am Mandy Ross with Gwen's Foxy Nest, and I'm here to help you guys create a foxier nest. And um, uh, I'm also a Chalk Couture Independent Designer. So we just love coming on here and showing you guys different ways to use the products and have fun with it. And to, to dress up your house. So this morning I woke up and went into the kitchen where I had the little mini camper setting and just makes you happy. It's just so cute and mini. I think we all like everything that's, everything that's mini is always better, right? <laughs> For some reason. Even this little guy, I mean, he's obviously not big by any means, but that little mini camper is just so cute. Okay, so I got some just right above there. Hopefully I can get that off with just a little water. 
So we're going to peel this off. And go slow, guys, because if you miss the spot, you just put it back down and uh, start over. Or go back over it with your paste. Oh, almost, almost. Hopefully you can see me. And then we're going to put just some little, there's some little curtains on there. Just kind of like we did yesterday. So cute. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Now guys, if you wanted to, um, there's the bottom here uh, that you could actually make this bottom part a different color. So you could just kind of, it's called layering the different um, uh, transfers to give it a different look. You could put an actual, um, oh, a, a pattern. Um, you know, if you have polka dots or whatever, you know I love my patterns. So you could uh, put a little pattern down below. I'll let me show you how that turned out. Isn't that cute? See, there we go. So, isn't that cute? Okay, let's let that dry. And um, give me a shout out, guys, if you like to camp. Are you guys campers? Um, let me know in the comments, even if you're watching it afterwards. Um, even if you're watching the replay, let me know. Uh, anyway, we'll leave that there. I'm gonna dry it. And then, um, if you like to camp, like what's your, what's your favorite place to go camping at? It's still dry, it's still wet, I mean, and this dries usually pretty fast, guys. But if you want to, um, you know, up the process, just put it, uh, I just use a hair dryer that you have in the house. Okay. I think we're good. So now we're going to, um, let's finish out this first, and then we'll try to put it on some words. But I'm thinking just some um, curtains like what exactly like we did yesterday because I want it to be uh, the mother camper to our mini me. And um, get this on here. I'm much more of a glamper. I don't know if that actually has a different window. Oh, okay. I think this fits better. Um, I'm much more of a glamper than I'm a camper. Now, my kids like to camp. Um, they like to, they're very outdoorsy and um, love camping. So, I'm glad their dad was able to do that with them and enjoy that. But I'm more of a glamper. So, I am loving like all the little uh, vintage campers that are being fixed up. Um, so cute. And they're being fixed up with the wild colors and the different, um, you know, all the different patterns, and I mean, they're really having fun with them. Okay, we're taking that off. Let me show you how that turned out. Isn't that cute? Now let's do the next one. I'm hoping this happy camper is going to be um, perfect for the top of there. We'll have to see though, if it's too big, we'll have to pick out something else. Okay, so this came with two different uh, transfers for the windows so that they would fit perfectly. Um, so make sure you use the make sure you use the right one for the right window. I don't think I did that yesterday. I don't think I realized it was uh, there were two different ones, two different size windows basically. And, oh my gosh, these are just so cute. <laughs> to play with. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? Okay, now I think I'm gonna see if my happy camper will fit here. It might be too big, we might have to go a different route. Um, but we'll see. Maybe just this how, this how we roll might be a uh, fit. But we're gonna do happy camper in purple. If it, if it fits. I think it's going to barely, let's see. 
I might have to it's gonna be a tight fit guys so let me get it on here I think I can put it down actually just a little bit the R is gonna come off I wonder if I could put Happy, I think I'm gonna put happy kind of up in here. That's not gonna work. That's gonna be, something's gonna fall off. So let's try this. This is how we roll. Or maybe just home. So I think this is gonna be too, too long as well. Let me see. It's pretty tight. I think we're just gonna go with the home. Just to be on the safe side with this one. If I was on a chalkboard, I would definitely try the other ones just to, because I knew I could wipe them off. Um, I think I'm, I, I was thinking about putting it in this little space here, but it's gonna go on the wheel. So I think just, just being safe today, we're gonna just put it right up here. And we're gonna put it in purple just to kind of bring it tied all together. And we have a banner. I need to get the banner on here too. Maybe we could do a couple of banners or something. We'll see. We'll see what it's starting to look like, what it's starting to shape up to. Guys, if you, I come up with stuff in my head and we just come on live and do it. So certainly no pressure. Um, but, uh, so if things don't turn out exactly like you like them, at least you know, we're, we're always learning together. <laughs> we're always having fun together. So, how cute is that? So, I'm going to, I put it just a little bit lower because I'm going to put a bow on top here, guys. And so, I didn't want the home, I didn't want the bow interrupting with my home. Okay, now let's see if we can put like a little banner up here and giving it just a little bit more personality. And guys, I'm loving these colors. I know you guys are ready, some of you guys are ready for fall, but I'm an August baby and I always dreaded um, having to go back to, uh, to school right after, right after my birthday. So I'm always one that just likes to um, kind of hold on to summer until the very last minute, I guess. Let's see if that's gonna tight. Okay, I'm gonna let that that go right there. And let's do this little guy. He's so cute. I love the little banners. They're so cheerful. this guy off and that's it ladies let's make our bow and I guess I'll put the bow kind of on the we'll see we're, we'll see okay real quick let's make a bow it's gonna be super easy like all of them guys I just have um, these are about six six inches so I'm just going to I didn't, I didn't even get two of these uh, but I got two of those this one and this and this so just crisscross them turn them over and tie your knot I think this is just the simplest way to get a bow and most of this ribbon was from Dollar Tree or Walmart so um, you know it's pretty inexpensive for the whole project basically so I love me some Dollar Tree how about you guys you guys go in there and buy your craft supplies they're their craft supplies are actually getting better and better. So um, if you haven't been there in a while, you might want to go and check it out. Okay, let's put let's put the bow over here. Give it some more character. There we go. And then 
that's going to be it for today's project. So I love coming on here. Quick projects. Give you something. Wouldn't this be cute to be in your camper? Um, we even have like little fonts, guys, separate fonts that you could put your last name up there at the top. That's are super easy to work with. So um, you could create your own little, uh, personalize your own little camping sign. Um, I'm sure normally people have like groups of people they go camping with. Uh, so, oh, this little guy. Put him down there. So that's it guys. That's so fun and uh, super quick and easy. And there's different uh, there's other curtains that you could use or uh, different wording and stuff. And there's actually add-ons. So we have, I think, a summer and a winter add-on that you could use to, like I was saying, to make this a different color or different pattern. Um, and I, I think they have some other little cute stuff. I can't remember all of them, but I'll put them in the comments. Uh, I'll put the links down in the comments for you guys. You want to check them out. And um, as always, if you have... Um, you know, you have questions or uh, comments or anything, just put them down below or send me a direct message, guys, and I will certainly get back to them, okay? So have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye.